Character Ed wraps up for the year. And do you get enough sleep? Roll intro. This is the Chatter Newscast, coming to you from Rechester High School in Braidwood, Illinois. Welcome back to another episode of the Chatter Newscast. I'm Gibson. And I'm Wyatt. And we're here to fill you in on what's going on at Recuster High School for the week of April 24th. Let's get started with the headlines. Character Ed wraps up for the school year with the topic of hard work. This week, sophomores meet on Tuesday, April 25th, and freshmen on Thursday, April 27th. The teachers will have their monthly staff meeting after school on Wednesday, April 26th. Seniors, if you wish to purchase your Chromebook and charger and bag, you can do so for $75. Here is your study habit tip of the week. Get enough sleep. Sleep increases focus and concentration. The effects of not sleeping are much like being under the influence of alcohol. No matter how well you know the material, studying sleep deprived will do you no favors. A regular sleep schedule is preferable and will do wonders for your overall health, happiness, and concentration and memory. But even if you can't sleep, just closing your eyes and relaxing will help. So if you find yourself grappling with insomnia, let yourself relax in the dark and in your bed instead of whittling away the hours some other way. Hi, I'm Tori. And I'm Gabby. We have all the latest news from the Counseling Connections. Many students' mindset towards studying is that they'll study hard. This might sound good, but it actually means that they don't have a specific objective or plan. They're interested in attaining success at school and getting good grades, but they're not clear about what positive actions they're going to take in particular. This vague approach isn't one that affects students' take on their academics. For each study session, set a clear objective to what you are intending to achieve. This might be reading through a set of notes thoroughly or complete 30-minute multiple choice questions. That's all the connections we have for you this week. Now let's send it over to Comet Sports. See you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Comet Sports. Comet Sports. Hi, I'm Joey, and let's swing into softball. On Monday, April 24th, the girls will host Wilmington. On Tuesday, April 25th, the girls will travel to Wilmington. On Friday, April 28th, the girls will host Moments for the last game of the month. All games will begin at 4.30. Now let's go over the soccer schedule for the week. The girls start their week playing Morris at home on Monday, April 24th at 5.30. They continue the week playing Ottawa at home on Wednesday. April 26th at 5.30 p.m. They end the week traveling to Coal City on Thursday, April 27th. They begin playing at 4.30 p.m. Hi, I'm Jamin and let's talk track. The track team has two meets this week. The fresh sophomore team will compete in the Seneca Invite on Monday, April 24th. Later that week, the varsity will compete in the Hersher Invite on Friday, April 28th. All events will start at 4 p.m. Hi, I'm Tyler, and let's swing into baseball. On Monday, April 24th, the Comets will face Wilmington at home, and the JV will travel. On Tuesday, April 25th, the Comets will travel, and the JV Comets will face Wilmington at home. On Wednesday, April 26th, the Comets will face Moments at home, and the JV will travel. On Saturday, April 29th, the Comets will have a doubleheader against Oakwood. The first game is at 11, and the second game is at 1. All their games start at 4.30 p.m. Good luck, Comets. Let's go, Comets! Comet. I'm Emma. And I'm Alexis. We, we have, have this week's Media Center, Center News. Check out our Reading with Peeps book display. Grab a friend and a book. Enjoy one of our great stories. Finish up Poetry Month with a highlighted book. Look inside our library at the highlighted book sections and check out our amazing poetry books. Then check out April's book challenge sheet. All participants who complete the challenge sheet will get their name entered in a raffle to win a Dairy Queen gift card. That's all for this week. Keep, Keep reading, reading comments. Hi, I'm Jana and welcome to the Curious Comments. April 27th is Autism Super Mom Day. Do you know what this is and why we celebrate it? I'll have the answer and more information after the lunch menu. Hi, I'm Joey and I got this week's lunch menu. On Monday the 24th, we will be served buffalo chicken in a calzone, vegetables, fruit, and milk. On Tuesday the 25th, we'll be having waffles with sausages, hash browns, 
fruit, and milk. And milk. On Wednesday the 26th, we'll be having chicken nuggets with rice, vegetables, fruit, and milk. And milk. On Thursday the 27th, we'll be having loaded potato wedges with vegetables, fruit, and milk. milk. On Friday the 28th, we'll be having pizza with vegetables, fruit, and milk. 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 Here's your healthy tip of the week. Turn off smartphones, at least for part of the day. It's hard, but really, you don't need it on constantly, as if it's stitched to your side. You could take a break, even for just part of the day. There may be some withdrawal or anxiety about not being right there for what you think is critical, but just stop and think. How many text, Instagram stories, or other digital communications do you need to see immediately? Very few. Once you try it, you may actually find it refreshing to have a break from the constant notification. That's all for this week. Stay healthy, Comets. Welcome back to the Curious Comets. Autism Super Mom Day is about the strength, courage, and determination of mothers, of children of, with autism. It is also a day to educate others about the challenges and rewards of raising a child with autism. Mothers and children with autism are often called super moms because they are doing so much more than other parents. They are taking care of their children 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Did you find this interesting? I'll be back next week with a new topic. So stay curious, comments. Hi, I'm Jamin. And I'm Abby. And we have the latest scoop on all the clubs and activities. Let's get started. The annual Fossil Ridge Library Art Show will be on Friday, April 28th and Saturday, April 29th. Stop in to view your classmates' art or art from the community. The reception will be held on Saturday from 11 to 1. Art Club will be meeting on Friday, April 28th to work on new watercolor bookmarks. See Ms. Barron for more info. Be the change you want to see in the world. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Join the Recycling Club meeting on Thursday, April 27th. The Middle and High School Jazz Band and the Magicals will be performing at the annual Java and Jazz event in the high school cafeteria on Sunday, April 30th at 2 p.m. That's all for this week. Keep, Keep on clubbing comments. Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast. We'll be back next week with more comment news. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Before we go, here's your inspirational quote for the week. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Eleanor Roosevelt. See you next week.